Gerardo, y vamos a nuestra automatic control. Practice number three. Block diagram using Simulink. First, I would like to explain that it's a transform function. It is a mathematical model which throws a consensus related the responses of a model system with an output signal or also modeled excitation. We will use MATLAB software with this extension called Simulink to obtain the system response in graph format for the following exercise. In each of the block diagram below we add a step function, a start function and a scope to see the response in time. The first is a block diagram that behinds with a function and follows a zoom to close control system ending with our output to the scope. Let's go to the view options in the library browser section. When the library is open, we are going to write in the step search. We have to drag it to the blank sheet of Simulink. Uh, the next one we will look for is called a transform function. Now we will connect the output of the step with the input of the transfer function. The next thing is the place one more component called a scope. This is a step in pulse, which shows the result of the system, showing us a, a graph. A graph will appear with a moment, momentum of the transfer function. In other words, it is the answer to the current system. Okay? We double click the scope that our transfer function giving us and it will give us an answer. The representation is that the variable representation, the vertical side of the graph and the horizontal side representation the elapsed time. Each of the this exercise shows the answer depending uh, on whether it is the transitory. The transition response refers to the one that goes from the initial state of the signal state. The response in the stadia or permanent state is understood as the way it behaves out the output of the system and tend to infinity. The goal is reduce the perks in order to have the system stabilized as soon as possible. Another piece of information is the absolute stability describes whether a system is stable or not. Relative stability is a quantitative mean of how far the transition response of the system tends to zero. Steady state error is the magnitude that describes the difference from the desired value and the system output. How to fill the values of transfer function? To be able to fill out the transfer function, first we have to double click on the transfer and then a window will appear called block parameters where we have to fill both the numbers and denominators section for this we can create a table in excel and grade the coefficients that we will use in my case they are maximum four and in column on the left side we put the algebraic expression
Now, I will show you the result of each system request in the practice tree. In this case, this is the result of this system. This is the number two. Number three. Number four. 